Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're looking at a watch from Hamilton with the Hamilton Khaki Navy Scuba with this one in green. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com as an authorized dealer. So throughout this video, just go through the details, look at some of the high level things to consider. Also throughout this video, if you have any further questions, link in the description down below to the product page where you can learn some more information as well as purchase the watch and book a time with one of our dedicated watch specialists as well. But guys, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. Hamilton's khaki collection is well regarded by collectors and enthusiasts for their military theme field watches that are often packed with incredible value. In fact, Hamilton offers some of the best mechanical watches in the world under $1,000 regardless of the collection, but within the khaki collection specifically, you will find value at almost every turn, including some underrated models within the collection. And today we're gonna to be looking at one of those models with the sporty khaki navy scuba model that despite the dive watch moniker is actually an excellent everyday option from the iconic former American brand. Now the model that we're gonna be looking at here specifically is the green dial navy scuba. We have looked at some other variants in the past. This one is a bit more muted in its color format and also probably being a bit more in line with the military influence of the khaki field collection. So taking a look at this Hamilton on the wrist, we have a case that measures at 40 millimeters in diameter and 13 millimeters thick, while measuring at 50.1 millimeters from the lug to lug distance. With these dimensions, the watch wears like a 41 millimeter case. The relatively long lugs are spaced at a standard 20 millimeters and supplied with this version is a green NATO strap, although there's a nice three link bracelet option as well, which I've covered in a previous review of the Navy Scuba collection. That one is definitely a nice one to look at too. The NATO is going to add another 2.5 millimeters in thickness to the overall wearing experience. So that's just worth keeping in mind when choosing this strap attachment to pair with this model. Although you should have quite a bit of just, uh, versatility in the area of straps. The NATO strap has brushed steel keepers and a signed steel clip on the long end of the strap to help guide it through the buckle and it also helps keep the strap from fraying. There's extra black leather padding around the strap adjustment holes to enhance the durability as well over time. This particular NATO is also not as long as some other options, so it wears more like a traditional leather strap for wrist sizes from 17.5 centimeters and larger. For wrists smaller than about seven inches, the long end of the strap might ride a little high, but it's still not quite long enough and you can be able to tuck that back within the keepers without a problem. Simply put, the NATO strap on this one is quite good and I would keep it in your rotation, no question. Apart from the longer lugs, every other aspect of the case is going to be rather restrained. The case of the Khaki Navy is entirely brush and finish, as you might expect from a watch that will come from the Khaki collection. On the right side of the case at the three o'clock is a large screw down crown with the embossed Hamilton H to the top surface, which also is one of the few polished surfaces on this watch. Protecting the crown are large bolstered crown guards on both sides. Operating the crown is a straightforward hand winding at that first position when unscrewing the crown. The second position, you can then adjust the date. And at the farthest pull that point, you then can adjust the time while stopping the second hand in the process. So hacking seconds here. This watch also maintains 100 meters of water resistance. And this kind of gets into the element of, it does have many of the dive watch looks, but it's not necessarily a true dive watch. 100 meters should cover you in pretty much every single circumstance, unless you're doing deep diving. But in that case, I think there'd probably be other watches to look at from Hamilton or other brands. Sitting atop of the case is a 60 click dive unidirectional bezel with very little lateral play and one that has a clear audible click as it moves into place. The anodized aluminum insert features a black 15 minute countdown section in the remaining area in green, matching the theme of the dial and strap combination. Sitting flush to the bezel is a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating through which the green dial can be admired. Along the outside edge of the dial starting there, we have slightly raised applied hour markers composed almost entirely of superluminova falling within the dense minute track. Trapezoidal quarter hour markers are complemented with rectangular index style for the remaining hours for enhanced legibility. And to the inside of the hour markers, we have a 24 hour scale to not deviate too far from the khaki collection. Sliding further into the dial, we have the logo at the 12 o'clock position in white print, as well as the applied Hamilton H emblem in matching white print for khaki automatic reference text position above the six o'clock index. A date window is positioned between the four and five o'clock with a contrasting white disc inside. Bringing the dial together is a set of blunted sword minute and hour hands, as 
well as a thin arrow sweep second hand with a red tip. The hands also contain a hefty amount of Superluminova to match the hour markers. While the loom isn't the best in the market, I would describe it as, I would say, an average to slightly above average, especially compared to some other Hamilton models, which can be at times a bit underwhelming in this department. Now flipping this watch over to reveal the solid screw down case back, which covers the C07111 caliber inside. So this movement features an 80 hour power reserve, which is achieved by slowing down the beat rate from four Hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour to three Hertz or 21,600 vibrations per hour while also reworking some of the gear train. As far as accuracy is concerned, you're not making any general compromises as well as these are all typically running within single digits in terms of accuracy with our anecdotal evidence of testing many of these. So it should have some great peace of mind there. In terms of a quick wrap up of this movement, looking at an operating beat rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour, three Hertz, does feature hacking and hand winding, hacking stopping the second hand when you pull out the crown to the farthest position and a power reserve again of 80 hours. All right, so now to unpack looking at this khaki navy scuba. Now in terms of where this one is positioned in the khaki collection, I think that is one of the higher challenges for this watch is the fact that it has quite a bit to outshine when you're looking across the aisle at different watches provided by Hamilton in this range. Quite a few to choose from as well as ones that probably are a bit more true to their lineage and history. But this watch certainly is a great value packed option in the price range without question. It's not fully dive watch, but also offers some of the versatility that comes with something that is not entirely a dive watch. Good versatility with the strap options. I think the looks of this piece are also very versatile and look great while still keeping in mind Hamilton's DNA. The size in terms of the lugs might size a few people out, but still, but still relatively restrained in terms of the central case. 100 meters of water resistance should be workable for many people out there. If you're wanting an ISO compliant dive watch, this certainly won't be the one for you, but for most people out there, that's not necessarily the need and you should be covered here. It's just important to see what this watch is in the market, a compelling Swiss made watch, a sports watch in the everyday format that also has a reliable movement on the inside and should be great for a set it and forget it type of wearing experience. All right, guys, well, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Really would appreciate that, and that does help out the channel as well. And if you are in the market for this watch, it is available on teddybaldester.com. We are a full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support. Also, all of our products come with a full factory warranty, so if something goes wrong, you're covered. In addition to that, we also offer price match, so if you see one of our watches for cheaper at another authorized dealer, fill out the form, we'll get in contact with you. And then finally, nine out of every $10 that we generate from our store goes right back into the content that we're creating, trying to foster up a new generation of watch enthusiasts in the process. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.